Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From a giant moth with tentacles to ants with a shield for a head, here are 10 of the weirdest and coolest animals on Earth. Number 10. Mantis Shrimp the mantis shrimp is a fierce and complex creature. While they aren't even that big, they pack an enormous punch. There are about 550 species of mantis shrimp, ranging from less than an inch to over one foot. They are insanely strong, and when threatened, mantis shrimp attack with the fastest blow of any predator on the planet. Almost. Even with high-speed cameras, scientists have trouble capturing the strike. This is why zoos don't keep them in aquariums. Not only because they will eat all the animals around, but if they get mad, they will punch and crack the glass. There are two different types of mantis shrimp, smashers and spearers. Smashers will knock their prey unconscious, and spearers will impale their prey with spiky appendages. The mantis shrimp can launch its club at about 75 feet per second, so fast that it actually boils the water around it in the process. The shockwave effectively knocks out its prey cold, even things with shells like clams and snails. Besides these powerful boxing clubs that launch like a spring, the mantis shrimp have some of the most complex set of color receptors of any animal. There's a reason that they are so colorful. The mantis shrimp's bright coloring shines bright against the deep blue waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, which they call home. It helps the different species recognize each other. But if we could see what they see, we'd probably think that they are even more colorful than they appear. Humans have three cones for color reception in our eyes. In contrast, the mantis shrimp has 12 to 16. Scientists estimate that this enables them to see around 10 times more colors than humans, and their eyes can even move independent of each other. It can see many more colors than humans, and multiple parts of their eye view the same point in space. We use two eyes to judge distance, whereas mantis shrimp eyes can do that with just one eye. While you'd think that they need a big brain to process all this information, their eye does most of the work and helps them make quick decisions. Number 9. The Frilled Shark this shark doesn't look like a typical shark because it has adapted to living life in the deep, dark sea. As some scientists have noted, the frilled shark looks like a creature you would find in a national history museum. Yet it's very much alive in the modern world, which has led people to calling it a living fossil, or a prehistoric shark, both of which are accurate. The frilled shark is named due to its gills that almost look fluffy and go all the way across its throat. Its mouth is pretty terrifying, with 25 rows of backward-facing teeth that look like tridents, about 300 in total. Its bright white teeth attract prey in the dark, so it goes around flashing its teeth, and once something gets closer to see what it is, it's too late. Once something gets grabbed, it's going to have a very hard time getting out. Scientists think that it hunts like a snake, lunging toward its prey, and then it can even eat prey up to half its own size. These sharks are found in depths of around 390 to 4,200 feet, so they are very hard to spot, although they will sometimes go to the surface every so often. It wasn't seen in its natural habitat until 2004, when NOAA scientists caught it swimming on camera. We have a lot more to learn about this shark, and we are still discovering new species. And now for number 8, but first wanted to say a big thank you to Carl Friedrich and Noelia Gareca for supporting this channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and let me know your favorite animal in the comments below. Number 8. Bald Uakari Most primates don't strike us as particularly weird. While they can be intimidating, they're pretty close to humans, but bald uakaris can be pretty scary looking. These South American primates have completely bald heads, hence their name, and blazing red faces. Native to the Amazonian rainforest of Peru, Brazil, and Colombia, they have a long coat of hair that can be reddish-brown to orange and typically grow to about 2 feet long and weigh from 4 to 7 pounds. While their red faces and bald heads are their most obviously weird features, these are not their only distinguishing characteristics. They also have pretty short tails, but this doesn't prevent them from swinging through the forest like a champ. While they may look intimidating in large troops of 30 to 100 monkeys, they are very social and playful, and they prefer to live all together and not spread out around the jungle. Unfortunately, they are quite endangered as they are often hunted and captured for food and to sell. What's more, their habitats are being destroyed by loggers moving through the Amazon, and they don't reproduce very quickly. While they face many challenges, they are not the only ones, as the Amazon is disappearing at an alarming rate, since especially during the global pandemic, loggers are taking advantage that people aren't paying close attention. 
Number 7. Tardigrade The tardigrade is one of the most fascinating creatures on the planet. Affectionately called the water bear, since so many people think it's cute, you can only pretty much see them under a microscope. They live just about anywhere, but mostly in damp or wet environments such as in or around lakes. Their diet is based on fluids. They suck juices from algae, moss, and lichens that they get grinding their food with their little teeth. Tardigrades are capable of surviving nearly everywhere, though. Most of the time, they inhabit sedimentary structures on wet rocks and the bottom of deep lakes. But they have made it at temperatures as low as minus 325 degrees Fahrenheit for a few days and as high as positive 300 degrees Fahrenheit for a few minutes. Scientists have been testing its resilience for years, and while it isn't quite immortal or invincible, it seems that tardigrades get pretty close. Believe it or not, these little animals could survive an asteroid crash. They've made it alone in space for a week and a half and even survived after a 30-year freeze, multiplying and leading to new generations thereafter. While they may be tiny, they'll be here long after we're gone. Number 6. Turtle Ants Scientists estimate that there are somewhere around 1 million billion ants currently on Earth, divided into around 12,000 species. Given their diversity, it's no surprise that there are some that stand out from the rest. But even with this expectation, turtle ants stand out a lot. You can find turtle ants in hot semi-tropical environments such as Brazil in the trees. Scientist Scott Powell has spent a lot of time in the trees studying them, observing that they have a very elaborate caste system, and they use their large shields to protect the colony from predators. They form colonies in tiny cavities in trees often made by wood-boring beetles. The sharp ridge around the edge of their head allows the soldier ant to twist and screw their heads into the entrance from the inside so nobody can come in. Their heads create a plate-like door to block the entrances to the nests. Powell's research has shown that the ants evolved to fit specifically into these kinds of holes and don't do well in other environments. He is trying to further study their turtle-like armor and their role in the ecosystem. Number 5. Ground Pangolin Most of the time when we think scales, we think reptiles or fish. But the ground pangolin, called temminx or the cape pangolin, is the only creature with scales that is entirely warm-blooded and the only mammal covered with scales, along with other pangolins. Ground pangolins are the most populous species of pangolin in sub-Saharan Africa. Pangolins are one of the most trafficked animals in Asia and increasingly in Africa. Their meat is considered a delicacy, and they are often used in folk medicine. They aren't very fast, and they have huge claws that they use to move rocks and rip up the ground to find termites and ants. They feed exclusively on insects, and because of their diet, they are colloquially called the scaly anteater. But one interesting aspect of this pangolin is that when under attack, they curl up into a spiky, scaly ball that is sure to deter predators. Even worse, they proceed by releasing a terrible-smelling spray. In combination, these two tactics should do the trick. Unfortunately, it's not working against humans. Number 4. The Platypus the platypus's odd appearance has been confusing people for centuries. It has a beaver's padded tail, a rotund body covered with fur, and duck-like features such as a flat-billed face and webbed feet. And they lay eggs! What kind of creature is this? It's a venomous mammal! People thought this animal was a hoax for years. Fossils indicate that ancient platypuses, not platypi as is typically thought, were nearly double the size they are today. When they're swimming, their webbed feet help them paddle around, but this webbing retracts back when they come onto land, revealing their claws. Males possess a sharp, venomous spur on both of their hind feet. This venom shares some of the same properties with reptile venom, but it evolved separately. Researchers are slightly perplexed about why the platypus, a docile creature with very few natural predators, needs venom. It's most likely to compete against each other during mating season. Their bills are smooth and pliable and help them look around for food while they're swimming below the surface. In fact, it's one of the only things that helps them do so, because their eyes are closed underwater. You won't be able to find the platypus anywhere except Australia, and even then, usually at night. They are nocturnal, sleeping for up to 14 hours a day. While they were once hunted for their fur, these strange creatures are now thankfully protected by the Australian government. Number 3. Creatinotus ganges A few years ago, a video went viral of an enormous moth that looks like it has tentacles growing out of its back. Or like a moth getting attacked by a centipede or something, like pulsating back legs. This thing looks like something out of a horror movie, but it's actually real. This creepy crawly is called the Creatinotus ganges, which hails from Australia, naturally, and Southeast Asia. 
It doesn't always look like that. In general, it's just a regular moth with black and white wings and a red or yellow body. But when it's in the mood for love, this moth sends out four tentacle-like scent glands called corimata and inflates them in order to send pheromones in the hope of attracting a mate. This gives it an alien appearance, but this action is actually harmless. It's just a regular creepy moth with tentacles. No biggie. Not only do these moths have strange mating behaviors, they have odd eating habits as well. When they're caterpillars, they feed on plants filled with toxic chemicals, which evolved to prevent being eaten by bugs. However, the Creatonotus ganges actually requires these chemicals in order to survive. So even though they won't harm you, whoever eats them is in for a toxic snack. Number 2. Ribbon Worm the ribbon worm is perhaps the strangest worm you can find. There are more than 1,000 species of ribbon worms that can be found mostly in the ocean, and they are infamous for their method of attacking victims. Inside their bodies is an odd muscle structure called a proboscis, which acts like a feeding tube. While attacking their prey, they compress themselves and shoot the structure from inside. The proboscis usually discharges a paralyzing sticky substance that renders its prey immobile. These kinds of ribbon worms employ tetrodotoxin. Not only does this poison help ribbon worms attack, but it also deters other animals from eating them. Given the variety of ribbon worms, it makes sense that there would be a variety of proboscis as well. Most are sticky with liquid or suction-like appendages, but others have a more violent method of attack. In particular, the Hoplanomertea have a spike on their muscular structure, which they then use to stab their victims. And when they lose one of these spikes, they make replacements and keep them on reserve inside of their body. Also, they vary greatly in size. They are super stretchy, and scientists have found some that are nearly a hundred feet long, and some are thought to be double that length, although they are very difficult to measure. Number 1. Viperfish The viperfish is one of the strangest looking creatures in the world. Not only that, but it is also one of the deadliest predators in the very deep sea. Because they are so fast and live in such a harsh environment, very few have ever been spotted. But of those we have seen, the images are striking. You can identify the viper fish by its gaping jaws and long fangs. Their teeth are so big that they don't entirely fit into their mouths, curving outside of their jaws and coming close to their eyes. These teeth come in handy because the viper fish doesn't grow to be that big, maxing out at around one foot long. Instead, the fish's great speed, in combination with their sharp long fangs, enables them to stab their prey with great force. They are generally dark creatures, so dark they blend in with the dark depths around them, although they can be green, blue, and silver. At the end of their long spine atop their head is a bioluminescent lure that glows just like anglerfish. So any unsuspecting creature that gets too close is in for a nasty surprise. Thanks for watching! Have you ever seen any of these animals? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below! Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already! See you soon! Bye!